Hey guys, I'm back with another style-based video. This one is going to be a summer outfits I wear as a dancer video. But these aren't just outfits that I wear to the studio. I know that it's summertime and there's a lot of concerts and festivals and events coming up. So I kind of wanted to mix it up and show you guys what I would wear to those types of events. And I did buy mostly everything in this video recently, so I'll try to include as many links down below. And lastly, I want to give a huge shout out to my sister Sylvia, who will be modeling my clothes today. Thank you so much for being a part of this video. I love you! Okay, so this first outfit is probably my favorite outfit for several reasons. I feel like it's the perfect mix of sporty and girly that I tend to go for a lot. And as you can see, I stuck with Adidas only. Um, I feel like that's a really easy way to look more stylish is just to match brands. And since the shorts and the jacket are pastel colors, I stuck with a white top to make sure that the whole outfit looks more brighter. And I've been really into visors lately, so I matched a white Adidas visor with the top. This outfit is a perfect example of something that I would wear to the airport or on a day that I had to run errands and I just want to be comfortable. I normally just pair plain black biker shorts with an oversized hoodie and because you're just pairing it with plain black biker shorts, you can go for a hoodie that has maybe a louder pattern or a brighter font. Uh, this one is from Antisocial and it has bright Tiffany blue font. It's super cute and comfy and you can even pair it with long black socks if you wear a shorter spandex. This third outfit is another sporty but girly outfit and Sylvia actually mentioned that she would wear this to a festival and I totally agree. Since in my first outfit I matched all Adidas, I tried to stick with all Nike on this one. It's really affordable too. All you would need is to go out and buy a oversized mesh t-shirt. Um, everything else you probably have at home. Since my t-shirt's black, I decided to make the sports bra and the spandex a lighter color, like a lighter, brighter pattern. Um, but you could also try it with like a beige or a white mesh t-shirt. To accessorize this look, I chose a white fanny pack and also white shoes. I think it would be super cute if you added like a braided choker. And if you want to get really detailed, then I would do French braids for my hair or even a half up, half down look like Sylvia. Okay, so I love this last outfit because it essentially only requires three pieces, but it still looks like you tried, which is always the goal. And the sports bra that she's wearing is the same sports bra in the last outfit, and I paired it with the black and white champion varsity jacket looking thing. Um, but it's actually super thin, so it's perfect for summer. If you want to layer it up, you can wear like a hoodie inside, and then also red kappa sweats that you guys have probably seen me wear a million times now. They're actually a gift from Cat on Me. Thank you so much. Or everyone can obviously tell how much I love them because I wear them like three times a week. And whenever I wear an outfit like this, I do tend to stick with brighter pants rather than a brighter top um, just because I think it's more fun. Big hoops with this look. Um, also hair up. And I would personally go for glossy nude lips rather than like red lips. Okay guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again, Sylvia, for modeling. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, bye!